Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. After a long wait, I decided to start making the tutorials again and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a little trick. So if you want to synchronize a couple of playbacks with effects and then you always start to pressing control and flash to actually reactivate it again, this is what I'm talking about. So if I have this effect running with a slow speed dimmer effects on these six fixtures, and then I have this one that's running really fast on the other six fixtures and I want to synchronize them. I did a tutorial about the speed masters and uh, I showed you how to do the synchronization. And this was uh, like, for example, I, I can activate one of my um, speed masters and these two playbacks are linked to that speed masters. So as you can see, they are not fully synchronized. Well, they're synchronized in speed, but they're not actually sort of synchronized at the same step. They're not doing it together. So in order to fix that, one of the tricks was you have to press control and then you have to press here. So now you can see they're fully synchronized. The problem is if you switch one off and then you restart another one, you will see uh, in my case, it actually automatically gets synchronized. Again, I'll show you, turn it off, turn it back on again and they're fully synchronized. You may ask, what, how did I do that? Okay, whilst there is no auto synchronization button, what I actually did a little trick. So I created a speed. Uh, I went actually to the execute window. I open. I created a new uh, new page. Uh, okay, on the execute window. Then I clicked on any empty space. I press assign special speed master. I've chosen speed master two, and I've clicked on resync button. That way it has created for me a resync button. So it is based on the execute window, page three, and this is the item one. So just remember these numbers. So three and one. Then what I did was in the playbacks that I needed, I went to the macro page, okay, a macro column, and I double click and I typed E0. It means activate and execute uh, item. Then slash, you put the page number, which is number three, as you remember here, it says page three. Okay. And the item number one, I did the same thing for this playback. So now every time it restarts or it launches, it always synchronizes itself like that. Okay. So if I didn't have that macro command, so if I kill it, see? they're not synchronized. So again, to resynchronize, I would have to press control and press, uh, press here to synchronize. Now, if I go here and I type E zero slash page number three, execute page three slash one, it's item one, return. Now, every time I will kill it, I start and it will restart and resynchronize. Okay, so again, it's in the execute window. And if you're not sure how to use the Speedmasters, go and check my video about the Speedmasters. And I've shown uh, when it was launched. I think it was in version 1942 of 1943. Okay, hope it was useful. Thank you very much for joining. And uh, press the like button and subscribe and share if you think this video was useful. So share to, the other, to your other friends and colleagues in case they will find it useful too. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.